ਸੇ ਸਾਧੂ 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 ਸੋ ਡੀਅਰ ਧਮ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸ਼ਨਰਸ ਵਾਂਸ ਅਪੋਨ ਅ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਗਰੂਪ ਆਫ ਯੰਗ ਟਰਟਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਥੈਟ ਗਰੂਪ ਦੇ ਵਾਸ ਵਨ ਐਲਡਰ ਟਰਟਲ the grandfather turtle and the grandfather turtle come every day to tell this young turtles showing the mountain and telling don't go to other side of the mountain just stay around this area for any reason don't go to that area so this this young turtles used to hear this every day and the grandfather this the old turtle come every day and every day remind and then one day this young turtles gathered and told this grandfather is don't know anything and uh, it doesn't know what is life he this every day come and tell us like mantra don't do this don't go there don't go there like that so they they little by little start to get disappointed about this advice and every day telling themselves this there's nothing wrong there's nothing we can see you know? so like young children nowadays and they go to google facebook youtube and they find more information and sometimes they argue with parents and grandparents so this young turtles used to argue with this older turtle and then out of this all there was a one turtle came young one let me go and see what is there and then this turtle little by little slowly start to move to other side and it was so green and it was so beautiful and he he ate it ate as much as it can and became so happy about it and enjoy him itself and came back and then he became so proud in front of others oh rim see i break the rule i went there and i was so happy and then i ate uh, this much that much i rolling here and there playing myself you all fool and you didn't come with me so like that then by here when they having talk the this older turtle came and asked what happened then he knew this uh, young one went there this older turtle asked so you don't feel anything wrong this young turtle told no i am i feel so good then the old turtle last nothing happened to you no no it's everything was okay then again and again this uh, old turtle asks are you sure there is nothing wrong no i am fine i i feel so good because i ate too much i feel so good and then again asks are you sure there is nothing wrong then this uh, turtle told there is something bothering to me then all the turtle asked what is that because i feel like something coming behind me and I, in my leg there is something stuck and then all the turtle told so let me see then he found out then it found out there is a thread and it was a trap and the hunter put the trap this turtle got into it and then the old turtle told look now we have to decide what to do why because the hunter going to come with this thread and find out all of us are going to kill all of us oh there is a choice for you you can go back there then we all can protect ourselves or oh, otherwise we going to leave you because with this all my children i don't want to you know let them die 
So when it comes to the Buddha's teaching, what the Buddha taught, and we 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 can it's kind of like our path, the, our spiritual path. And it's kind of like our our mother. So why? Because what the Buddha said to us, this life is very limited. In this very limited time period, out of this human life, what do you want? Do you really have any idea? Or are you still going here and there and looking here and there? Because when it comes to human life, the most important thing is the, the mind. So the development of the mind is the most important part in your life. Not the body. Body is necessary. This uh, material things necessary. But the most important part is your mind. We are kind of like, a, you know, maintaining a chicken farm. Before the pandemic, look, people used to early morning prepare their lunch packet and go to work. And on the way, they go to market and bring some food and vegetables and that things to it. And then at night, they eat, sleep. And then again, early morning, prepare the lunch and they go to work. So feeding, feeding, feeding. They work for eating, eat for working. So the work, eat. Eat, work. For what? And when you maintaining a chicken farm, every day what you do, you give food for chicken and make them more, more better healthy. You know why? End of the day, what will happen to that all the healthy, the strong chicken, where they go? They go, they're going to die. So we, we kind of like, we maintaining our this life to, for the death. But remember, during this pandemic time period, you now you understood something. So within few months, maybe you will get back to normal life, new normal life. But remember yourself. Don't, don't continue that whatever you used to do before and start your new way of life yourself. Give more priority to your mind and develop some qualities in your mind because life depends on qualities. People are not going to respect for your body. They're not going to respect about your other things. They always will respect you for your qualities. That doesn't mean you have to develop the qualities to, to get the respect. No. But our human life depends on the qualities. So then you have to remember. Develop good qualities in you. And get a good foundation, not just the conventional level of foundation. So when it comes to that spiritual foundation, that there are five mental powers that you have to develop to gain the your spiritual success. So one is the Shraddha. The, the conviction, the faith regarding the Dharma and regarding the Buddha, regarding the community of the Sangha, that whoever practice this path, you have to accept and you have to respect that. Other, otherwise, you're not going to follow anything. If you don't, if you're not going to respect for the money, you cannot be rich. If you don't respect for the books or education or the teachers, you're not going to learn. So like that way, for the meditation, if you don't respect for the Buddha, Dhamma or the, the community of Sangha or the teachings, you're not going to practice it. So then the very first thing, develop that strongly. Be very clear with it. 
and the second one is the the effort the strength and so day by day day by day develop the the effort virya and you you have so much effort energy and but you use it for different different things but organize yourself deeply inside and bring that all the energy to one thing and you start to work with it that you will see how you can gain the success very easily and the third one is the sati mindfulness with the mind your mind always here and there so then have a mental discipline focus and what then the samadhi what you focus settle down there you focus to this and you focus to that and the, not like that way learn to settle down bring the calmness to you and the the fifth one the wisdom or the understanding self realization so through your practice recognize yourself what ever in on the book whatever in the dharma just recognize by yourself so those are the five things help for you to develop your mental quality so at the end of the day as a human being your main responsibility should be uplift your awareness with these five qualities even though you maintain this material physical world you become a part of it it's nothing wrong you have to be successful there but remember this everything one day going to go but still that the mental qualities that you develop within yourself going to in case if you cannot attain to enlightenment in this very lifetime and try to at least attain to good tranquility state if you cannot attain to that good tranquility state at least have a very peaceful calm comfortable mind so there are different different states so whatever the next level try to jump into it so that way little by little little by little your life going to become meaningful and as a human being it is not how long you going to be here with whatever the, the things around you the way you maintain your mind with this qualities going to decide what is the next destination for us so with that i bless up on everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbi vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo suki digayuko bhava ettavata chami sampadam punya sampadam सबे देवानुमोदंत सब संपत्ति सिद्धिया सबे भूतानुमोदंत सब संपत्ति सिद्धिया सबे सत्तानुमोदंत सब संपत्ति सिद्धिया इदं मे पुण्य कमन्नास वक्या वहं हो तु सब दुखा पमुंचतु ब्लेस यू